it really makes you feel great to be able to provide this kind of a service for someone. When we all enter into the legal profession as a service profession, we do it so that we can help people. We had a member that contacted us. Uh, he was having some difficulty uh, purchasing a home. There was something on his credit report uh, that was there that was causing some uh, negative credit rating for him. It was an old credit account that he had with a bank that had been written off by the bank and they issued a 1099, which he paid taxes on, but uh, it still remained on his credit report. The bank, at this point in time, didn't really have an obligation under the law to remove that from his credit report. There was still some time left in that, um, but uh, he asked us to see if we could help remove that from his credit report so that he could uh, move forward and purchase his house. He had attempted to get in touch with the bank himself and was fairly unsuccessful in that regard, so we stepped in uh, to lend a hand. We reviewed everything uh, with him and we decided that it would be a good idea to write a letter to the bank to try to open up the line of communication. So we did that and we were very successful. That resulted in the bank zeroing out his balance um, so that he could move forward with his mortgage loan. It increased his credit report by 100 points or so and uh, allowed him to qualify for that mortgage loan, which in turn allowed him to purchase his home. Somewhere along the way, the business of the law gets in the way and you sort of lose your ability to help people. This really takes you right back to the reason why you started practicing law in the first place, which was to help people. And this business model allows us to serve the most number of people that we possibly can while still earning a living.